Hey guys, what is up? Brighter Kick here, just getting off the interview with Tyrome and John. And as promised, here is finally, uh, it's a little late, but we are, I am finally going to be doing the deck profile for this newest episode of Let's Build a Deck with Mr. Karate. Mr. Karate is a forehand size 38 health. He has air, death, and order. And we are going to look at what he does. Now, Mr. Karate is one of the KOF promos, which you can only get by participating in your local hobby league. Um, he is, has a first enhance of making a control check of four greater. Your non-throw attack gets plus X damage. X equals double the difference between your opponent's printed hand size and your printed hand size. Only playable if this attack shares at least two symbols with your character. Now, the damage pumps on this are going to normally be about plus four to potentially plus six. Uh, should you be lucky, fortunate enough to be playing Leona, God help them, they will be plus eight for their attacks. However, we will get into that a little bit later. Um, his second in, uh, effect is a response. It is destroy one foundation after after an attack deals damage. Draw X cards where X is the destroy uh, difficulty of the destroyed foundation. This is both an offensive and defensive ability, so that's really good for him. And while you are slowly destroying your staging area to ensure that you have a hand size, there are certain cards with good benefits to being destroyed. And because of this effect, you're looking at Mr. Karate actually being around potentially a four to, f or excuse me, a five to six hand size character with 38 health. So, let's move on. The deck has, is a total of, of course, 59 cards plus character, has a total of 53 blocks, so that's pretty good. We are running Mr. Karate off death, as I feel that death is potentially his best uh, symbol because it run uh, death is very associated uh, currently in this meta anyways uh, with discard and discarding while you gain a hand and forcing your opponent to lose a hand is always a good thing in any card game in Mr. Karate it also doubles with the effect of your potentially leveling the playing field of making your opponent's hand size equal to your actual printed hand size before the response effect. But we will get right into the deck. So we're going to jump right into foundations. And we're going to go into ascending order. So we are going to have, of course, our spammables. And we're starting off with, pardon me, four made for speed. With made for speed, of course, being zero difficulty and Five control check with a plus three low block. Um, it's in here because of its form ability to add it to the top card of your deck, so you're basically running your control checks. Next, we're running four Tengu Assassin. Tengu Assassin is, once again, much like Mr. Karate or Promo, you can only get it participating in your local hobby league. By all means, go check and see if your store has it, has one. Uh, it is a one difficulty five check. It has no block modifier. However, it does work with Mr. Karate because it has enhanced commit. If your attack deals damage, draw X cards. X equals your opponent's printed hand size minus your, minus your hand size. So once again, you're looking at a bonus of if an attack, if your attack, it has to be your attack, deals damage. Um, you're looking at gaining anywhere between two to three cards, and again, with the eight hand size or Leona coming out into the meta and looking to be one of the bigger cards in the meta, you'll be getting, um, let me think, eight from four, four cards. I can't do math. I am a horrible, horrible person who can't do math. History is my subject in school. And then it also has an enhanced commit. This attack gets minus X damage, minimum one, where X is your uh, opponent's printed hand size minus yours. So once again, a offensive and defensive. It's only offensive for the draw card, but you're getting a nice defensive attack debuff for your opponent which is, again, around 2 to 3, and, well, you know, I'm not going to keep saying Leona and over and over again. You know the drill with Leona. But for general, for general reasons, you're looking at a minus 2 to minus 3. 
Going on to the next one, we have Know Your Objective. We run four Know Your Objectives. Know Your Objective is a one difficulty five check with a plus three high block. It has a desperation dance to so choose one foundation of your opponent's staging area with an ability that reduces damage. Turn it face down. This card is, that card is considered a blank foundation. It also has enhanced commit. This attack gets minus two speed. That's really good because in desperation, which it's going to take quite a while for you to hit desperation with Mr. Karate. He is 38 health. And in the standard meta, I do believe he is actually the largest health character in this standard format. Um, really, we're going to be using this for the minus two speed pump. The majority of deaths, uh, blocks are at a plus three. Uh, say for the attacks, which are plus ones and plus twos, but for the most part, every other block modifier in this is plus three. So this is lowering it down. Next, we're moving on into the sunset. Into the sunset, we also run four of. Into the sunset is one difficulty five check with a plus two mid block. It's enhanced discard car, enhance commit. Your attack gets plus one speed for every foundation in your opponent's card pool. Um, that's pretty decent. Um, it really doesn't go with the Mr. Karate theme, but it makes your subsequent attacks harder to block because as they, you throw out more attacks, the opponent is filling up their card pool with blocks, and at the same time, because of this, you're getting a speed pump from it. It also has in, uh, Desperation Enhance Commit. Commit one foundation your opponent's saving area. Really, this is just kind of in there for spam, since the first effect really doesn't work for it at all. Uh, have real any synergy with Mr. Karate. I mean, it's a speed pump. Um, the Desperation Enhance, much like the last one, it's going to take a while for you to get it off. Uh, probably not so much in the meta right now. If you've been watching my interviews, you can see that the meta is going to accelerate quite a bit. Not as much as I thought it was originally after talking to a few of the guys. But um, it looks like it, you could potentially be in desperation to, with Mr. Karate. I mean, all you got to do is get him at, uh, again, this is me trying to do math, God help me, uh, 18 damage. you got to do 18 damage here to put him at the... All right, so we'll move on. We are now out of our spammables. Uh, we are in our standardized uh, numbering for foundations, so we're at our twos. We run four uh, Maniacal Laughter. Maniacal Laughter is two difficulty five check with a plus three high block. It is after this, after this, it, bleh, it has a static, enhance, static effect of after this foundation is destroyed, take the top card of your deck from your deck and add it to your momentum. This has wonderful synergy with Mr. Karate because it's netting you free momentum and because of its static effect of it being destroyed, this is a prime target for Mr. Karate's response effect, netting you two cards. So you're really getting, I don't know if it's really considered a plus three because you're getting momentum. That really doesn't go to your hand, but you're getting two cards and free momentum in the thing. On top of that, it also has enhanced destroy one foundation, your attack gets stun one. Um, potentially, you could also blow itself up for free momentum and give an attack stun one. Really, I put it in here to work off Mr. Karate's response to give you plus two and free momentum. Next, we have Celestial Being. Celestial Being was originally, is in the new Tides of Vengeance set. We run four of it. It is a two difficulty four check with a plus three mid block. It has enhanced scar two momentum. Your reversal attack gets plus three speed, plus three damage. We're going to ignore that one entirely. Mr. Karate does not run reversals. And I'm going to say that right. Let me look at this deck real quick. It runs one reversal. And honestly, that's it. So we're really not using Celestial Being for its first effect. We're using it for its second effect. Its response of turn this foundation down after your opponent plays an ability that will commit one or more cards in your staging area, cancel its effects. This is, consi this is considered a blank text box now. Uh, this foundation is considered, this is, bleh, this card is considered a foundation with a blank text box. We're using that as part of our control element to ensure that mass stun attacks just fizzle. Um, again, it runs a four check. This is really one of the only four checks in the deck. But Celestial Being is such a key card for almost any of the symbols it runs. 
it needed to really be in here to prevent stun effects, which are now almost everywhere with the diminish of anti-stun and the resurgence of stun. Next up, we're running Smug Satisfaction. Again, another promo card, which, again, you could obtain at your Hobby League. It is, we run four of those, and we do run four Celestial Being, by the way. We run Celestial Smug Satisfaction. It is a two difficulty five check, plus three low block. It has Enhanced Destroy This Foundation Draw Card. It has Enhanced discard up, discard up to two face down cards from your card pool. Playable only during your opponent's turn. Uh, doesn't really work with Mr. Karate. Uh, his reversal is not going to have a multiple on it. Also, has to destroy this foundation. Both players may turn to turn up to face down momentum in their staging area face up. Uh, this helps you. Let me re rethink. Destroy this found form. Destroy this foundation. Both players may turn up. Two face down cards in the staging area. Okay, so basically what this is is Smug Satisfaction is there to uh, un unflip your celestial beings that you flip down to help you reuse them. We run Sacrifice for the Cause, and I know it has an active errata. Please forgive me, I do not have it on me at the moment. Uh, it is a two difficulty four check. Okay, so I'm wrong. We're running three more four checks. Uh, it's two difficulty four, uh, two difficulty with a four check with a plus three mid block. It is form discard X cards. Commit one card in your opponent's staging area with a difficulty of X or less. We only run three of these because Mr. Karate's hand size is small enough as it is, even if we're making him, giving him the ability to draw two to three cards. Uh, however, it is something that's needed in this deck to commit a problem foundation in your opponent's, in your opponent's staging area. So, uh, but I only run three of these. I don't run the maximum a lot. Uh, we run two Holiday Cheer. Holiday Cheer is a two difficulty five check. It is unique, so we only run two of these. It has form if your starting hand size is six or less, draw one card, and your opponent may add the top card of their deck to the momentum. Uh, this is just a form, really, you tap and make, make sure Mr. Karate is now a standardized five hand size for tapping Holiday Cheer. It also has form commit if you have ten less cards in your deck, draw five cards. Uh, if it comes down to having that little of cards in Mr. Karate, you're doing something either extremely well or extremely right. Probably for the former rather than the latter. We're using this to make Mr. Karate a five hand size character. Finally, we run three War Between Sisters. Where Between Sisters is three difficulty five check with a plus three mid block. It is enhanced commit. Both players discard a card. Once again, keeping with the discard theme of Mr. Karate. Uh, it has response commit. After your opponent plays an attack, both players discard two momentum and cannot add any cards to momentum during this attack's enhanced step. This is actually really good. Uh, you do have to nuke two of your own momentum, which is kind of bad for a card we're about to look at in a little bit. But at the same time, it nukes two of their momentum, uh, preventing uh, multiple and other effects. And it also stops uh, cards from going to the momentum outside of the end phase, which is really, really good because we're about to have die side, and as some of the interviews mentioned, die side is... I consider myself personally and some of the other people I've talked to uh, need to be my own playgroup or some of the people we've interviewed. Die Side actually looks to be like the new Kunai. So this helps stop that momentum generation. But moving onward, we're done with foundations. So now we're into assets. We run two Eastern Drossel. Uh, Eastern Drossel is a three difficulty five check with a plus two mid block. It's unique. Uh, so you can, uh, it's enhanced command if this attack deals damage. Both players lose two vitality. This is actually going to hurt your opponent more than it's going to hurt you since Mr. Karate is 38 health. And of course your attack gets plus two speed. Only playable while committed. And there's our speed pump for the deck. Next up we have Power of the Edge. We run three Power of the Edge. 
Uh, power of the Edge is too difficulty four check. Okay, well apparently I don't know how many four checks I'm running in this deck. I really need to remember to look at, look at these numbers better. Anyways, four, two difficulty four check with a plus four mid block. Response this card to momentum after your opponent plays an attacker action card. Cancel the effects of that card and discard from the card pool. This has multiple applications. I have checked around prior to me saying this. However, if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, I'm playing this because... Uh, I asked around, and if the opponent plays an attack or an action card as a block, you can respond with this card and negate the card blocking, meaning the card that they blocked with is now null and void, it goes to the discard pile, your attack goes through scot-free. Again, I did ask around, if I am wrong, please feel free to correct me in my comments, as I know some of you... I will not name names, but I know at least one person will be more than happy to. Moving right along to attacks. We are going to run three Hair Trigger. Hair Trigger is a ranged attack because Mr. Karate is ranged as well as discard. He it is two difficulty three check with a plus one mid block, which is fantastic. It's ranged, so you also have the bonus effect of if you block any other ranged attacks. It's going to become a plus zero mid block, and it's too high for two. It also has the enhance of this attack deals damage. Your next range attack gets plus four damage. Already with Mr. Karate, you're going to be throwing attacks with a massive amount of damage because every single one of the attacks in this deck do share two keyword two two symbols with Mr. Karate. So right off the bat, you're looking at plus four to plus six damage. Uh, combined with rank, combined with hair trigger, you're looking at a massive attack coming at you that they're going to have to block. Uh, following that, we're going to run three mug shots. Mug shot is three difficulty for three with a plus one high block. It is really good because once again, plus one block is fantastic. It's three mid for two. Again, with Mr. Karate, that's potentially three mid for six. It has ranged, so we know what the range keyboard does. It has reversal, so you could switch it out and smack them for six damage with Mr. Karate. It also has the combo card of ranged, uh, which is very easy to do because ten cards in this deck, I did look that number up, uh, ten cards in this deck do have ranged. Uh, it has in combo enhanced. Both players add the top card of their deck to their momentum. Uh, this could help you fuel multiple things, uh, most notably Power of the Edge. It also has, if this attack deals damage, both players lose two vitality. So we're also keeping in with that minor burn effect that we're going to be using with a certain Drossel, again, which is no more problem for your opponent as it is for you, because once again, Mr. Karate, big health. So we're also going to be running four Wipe the Floor. Wipe the Floor is five difficulty three check with a plus one mid block. It is three low for four. So with Miss Karate, that's three low for eight, upward to three low for ten. As Enhanced Committed Foundation, your opponent discards one card. Again, we're doing the discard aid, keeping with the discard theme. It also has a Void Enhance, which I'm not going to read because we can't use it in Mr. Karate because he does not have Void. We followed up with Bad Breath. We run four Bad Breath. Bad Breath is four difficulty three check with a plus two mid block. Since it has ranged, you know what that means. It also is three mid for four. Once again with Mr. Karate, that means it's three mid for eight up to three mid for ten. It also has Enhance, just Enhance. Both players discard a card. Once again, keeping with the discard theme. And finally, the kill condition in this deck, although notably with Mr. Karate, almost any of the cards can be a kill condition because of his uh, enhance. Um, but this is the card that you want to try and kill people with. It is four Death Copter. Death Copter is four difficulty three check with the plus one mid block. Fantastic. Three high for five, so with Mr. Karate, that's going to be three high for nine, up to three high for eleven. It has combo ranged, and it has combo enhanced, discard one card. So you're once again discarding, which is not that great of a thing, Mr. Karate. 
but hopefully at that point uh, you'll have a healthy hand because Mr. Karate does have the offensive and defensive draw ability. Um, it is discard a card your opponent reveals their hand. You choose and discard one of the reveal cards. So potentially, even without Power of the Edge, you're going to make sure this one hits because you're going to see what's in their hand and you can follow it up with some of the cheaper attacks we've already displayed. Um, and that's really Mr. Karate. Um, some, like I said, a bit of the deck. This is not a very rare heavy deck. Um, probably the biggest card you're going to have trouble finding is Sacrifice for the Cause, um, which you can replace with a plethora of promos, I believe, uh, Tengu Assassin, uh, the other Mr. Karate promo, which the name escapes me at the moment, um, and Death Copter can be switched out with any of the Nina Williams attacks from Tekken. They work just as well, and they keep on the discard theme. Uh, Drossel's going to be really hard to come by now, because Drossel is in the original Soul Calibur 4 set, and that's now out of print. Um, I really don't know what you could replace that with, in all honesty. Um, let me look real quick. While we think Power of the Edge, um, gosh, you know, Power of the Edge is such a really good card. Um... Well, let's look at what we can replace Power of the Edge with, because that's actually going to be easier to do. Because I can't, it just, uh, I think it's confined. Uh, you can replace Power, uh, Power of the Edge, which was a very hard to get reprinted promo, with Showdown. I recommend Showdown. Um, actually, really, Showdown looks to be the only really good thing. Uh, quite possibly, uh, No Equal would also be good. And, um, those look to be like the best substitutions for the deck. You could also run the, uh, action card Berserker Rage. Uh, there's less of a drawback on this for you guys to play Berserker Rage in this deck. It's enhanced, lose three vitality. This deck gets plus four damage. Again, all of these, uh, actions for death or four checks that could be part of the thing but for a easier to get a hold of card to replace power of the edge to make sure your tasks get even bigger forcing more cards out of your opponent's hands because they know they're going to have to stop this because Mr. Karate will just take huge and huge chunks of damage off the opponent in almost no time at all with his attacks I would probably say go with Berserker Edge um, let me look at what we could replace uh, CERN Drossel with. A CERN is just such a really good card. It's really hard to figure out what to, uh, do it with. My gosh. I mean, I've been running a CERN Drossel for the longest time. Um, and we're trying to look at a more budget, uh, thing to do for it. So, uh, possibly TimeGate. Or Orochi Power, they're a bit easier to get a hold of, because once again, these are promos you can get at your Hobby League. Or uh, Soul Eye, which doesn't really do anything. Uh, uh, let me look. I mean, I'm really trying here to give this one, because, like I said, a certain Drossel's just been in the meta for so long, it's hard to think what you could replace with it. Um... Quite possibly St. Rose's Orphanage. Uh, this will give the deck more, have a more control thing because while it's ready, you're, neither one of you players, uh, can't play action cards. So this does hinder you playing Power to the Edge, but at the same time, they can't play action cards under any circumstances so while this card is ready. Um, during your turn, uh, because it's terrain, both effects are uh, playable by either player. It is enhanced commit, lose three vitality, and you may discard one card from your card pool. Again, with Mr. Karate, we don't worry too much about health payment effects because of his large vitality. And with St. Rose's Orphanage, you're giving yourself another low block. 
and you're getting away to discard cards out of your own card pool, leaving yourself open to play more foundations or possibly more attacks. So I would have to say the card I would replace a certain Drossel with is St. Rose's Orphanage. That's Mr. Karate. Um, the reason it took me so long for this deck, guys, is uh, I kept sitting there looking at this because Mr. Karate is pretty much a one-note character build. And I wanted my deck to be as unique as possible from the other Mr. Karate builds that are already out there. Uh, this is a pretty good fun deck. I don't really see Mr. Karate as a super competitive deck because of his low hand size, even with the ability to draw a mass amount of cards pretty quickly and his ability to create mass damage. Um, he's still just not really to me at the moment. Maybe a couple sets like Neomax or Rulers of Time will have better death cards. Uh, but right now, this is really just a hobby league deck. I am aware that I believe someone won a Pro Circuit Tournament qualifier with Mr. Karate or did very well with it. And that was their build. I'm not sure if they ran Reversal Mr. Karate or whatnot, which is, again, a viable deck. But, again, with Vespera out there, why are you going to run anything Reversal and not run Vespera, considering Vespera also has Death. So, Mr. Karate, I made as a ranged discard deck for multiple effects. I hope this profile shows some of you guys uh, my own unique take on Mr. Karate. Uh, again, I do apologize for it being late. Um, and that's the deck. I mean, I'm sorry this one took so long, guys. This is every time I sat there and I started to do the video, I would sit there and look at the deck list and go, I can change something. I can take that out and make it a little bit better. Oh, I was sitting there looking at the forms a couple times at the other Mr. Karate decks. Like, God, this thing looks just like theirs. I can change more, make it more unique of my own. I know some people are finishing move in their decks was Rowdy Bunch. Um, I and made it kept it a pure range theme. I wanted to go a fur one step a little further and do a dual theme of range and discard. Uh, that's it for this one. Uh, next week, since this one took a week, uh, two weeks to do, and again, I sincerely apologize. I'll try not to be that late again. This one was just kind of a brain stump. We're actually going to do something interesting. Uh, Garrett and I, Garrett's coming back. Bless that man. Um, and we are actually going to build the Joe Higashi deck from the ground up. Now, I don't have any of the KOF cards yet. I am still working with my store, store owner down at Blackthorn Games, which is a wonderful gaming store, uh, to get KOF in so I can get more cards to be able to make more deck videos. Uh, but Garrett and I are going to sit and build Joe Higashi from the ground up using UFS Ultra. Again, uh, if you want to try and get some of the hard to find cards, you can always go to Ross Chester CCG, uh, run by Sean O'Brien. Great guy. Uh, use the promo code Total Justice. You'll get 10% off, off, you'll get 10% off your order. And thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time on Total Justice Gaming's Let's Build a Deck. Hey guys, Ryder Kick here. Just wanted to say thank you for watching. Please leave all comments and criticisms in the comment section below. Your feedback helps me make this little show better. Also, please remember to go to my blog, totaljusticegaming.blogspot.com, and also hit the Facebook page. Uh, like it and let me know that what you guys think. Uh, also, the Facebook page is a place to go where uh, you guys can keep an update with the website. Website's going to be updated as much as I possibly can, about once a week. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next Total Justice Gaming Let's Build a Deck.